Shalom, give me all praise to you. How about Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video, They Were Sent. This is a response to two Israeli women and Ezekiel 36 and 5. Hashtag Israeli, hashtag Palestinian. So I didn't get a chance to watch this whole thing. I just watched maybe a minute or so of it. And um, see, we here at GMS, I mean, they did talk to the women. And they, I, like I said, they, these, they probably news, news people from Israel. And they're trying to get information to use it against this, what they call the black Hebrew Israelites. By the way... Bishop Nathaniel, that demon, he calls us black Hebrew. If you're not an IUIC Israelite, you're a black Hebrew Israelite. So he's using a term that the the government deemed us as black Hebrew Israelites. So why would he call us black Hebrew Israelites? Yeah, we were listening to uh, <laughs> Bishop Nate. Yeah, he wasn't. He 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 couldn't sleep all week. All this all the past week. Over watching the videos that we put up about the, the video that he did last week, and he came back strong. <laughs> you know, a whole lot of swinging, but not nothing. You know, he going into the wall and and uh, Revelation 21 is different than the walls in Isaiah 60 and so forth. He jumped around to this to the script, a lot of scriptures that he went to last week. And um, we're la we're basically laughing at him when we're talking about we're renting sp uh, space in his brain. He can't think right. Then he said, "I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy." Then you have Malachi, which I'm surprised that you, you know, you just hear the brother. See, he's breaking it down. No, he ain't breaking it down the right way. It's it's obvious that the wall the wall and 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 I. I'm gonna get back to this subject, main subject. It's obvious that the. Uh, the wall, great and high, the the city, Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, is is of is symbolic for the kingdom of Israel. When you go into the dimensions, you know, that's obvious. Now, when you go to Isaiah chapter sixty, matter of fact, let's go to that. Let me open up a tab here. Isaiah 60. I'm sorry, six, 60, I put 61. Let me just write in balls. And this is the kingdom. And uh, ain't no G uh, Gog and Magog. And uh, by the way, Gog and Magog, when you go to Revelation uh, 20, and you read about how they came to, out of the thousand years, they came back, Gog and Magog, and they said that they gathered all the nations. So all the nations are going to come against us. It, look, it's not. There's, that's not going to happen. A when we're in the kingdom, a thousand years from now, there's not going to be any pause in the kingdom of heaven. The po we're in the pause right now. There ain't going to be no no pause in in the in the kingdom. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. It said world without end. There's, there's not going to be disruptions in our kingdom. Anyway, it says the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in 
my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Let me look up the word walls. Now we know it's not, we got to build our houses, but Esau and the other nations got to build a wall. No, they're going to build everything we tell them to build. We're not going to lift a finger to, to, not, to nothing, to doing anything. Sons of Strangers right here is in the car, which means uh, someone of another nation outside of Israel shall build thy walls. This, <clears throat> let me look up the word walls. The word there in the Hebrew is kanama. It simply means wall. Walled, which means they're gonna build the houses, the walls, the this, the that. They're gonna be doing all the work. They're, meaning they're gonna be our servants, our slaves. Now the wall in Revelation 21 is obvious; it's symbolic. So now I believe he's saying. Revelation 21 is a, a thousand years after when Gog and Magog come come out and uh, Most High gonna come back and deliver us again, which is complete nonsense. And he knows it. He knows he 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 knows. It, you know you got a lot of you had a lot of window shoppers watching our videos, kind of asking questions, man. Just swallow your pride, man. Say that you was wrong. Like the hell doctrine, the lake of fire doctrine. You 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 didn't admit that. You didn't do you still have videos up wait a minute. Okay, did I take it down? Anyway, I can go all you gotta do is go to ISCPK, I mean I'm sorry, I U I C and put in hell and look at the videos. Lake of Fire is a place that you burn forever. Israelites going to burn forever as well. If you're not right, or if you're not part of the IUIC. Hell, the Lake of Fire is talking about America on fire by the missiles, as you said in that interview that you did in Africa. But you still got videos up of different IUIC's member, members that's teaching us that old stuff. So you didn't you didn't address it. You did, and then you talk about you're in order. That's out of order, man. That's completely out of order. If I'm teaching that the only nation that's going to be saved are the Israelites, and G Apostle Gabar is teaching that, well, Israel's going to be saved, but Edomites and the other nations are going to be saved too if they're right with the Most High. If Apostle Gabar doesn't change that, he's out of there. Which he's not going to say something, something out uh, outlandish like that. And then if he said, oh, I, I, I realize I went off, well, you got to make a video stating that you went off. You got to address the situation. And this is what Bishop Nathaniel did not address. He didn't, he didn't do, do a video after the two months, just two, two months, two and, a, two and a half months ago in Africa, I believe it was South Africa on this woman's podcast. And if you go, I believe it's 49 minutes into the video, 49, 50 minutes in, the Lake of Fire subject comes up and he says, oh, that's talking about a miracle on fire with the missiles, when Russia hits him with the missiles. But like I said, I'm saying it again, I'm saying it two times, just, just in case you forgot the first time, which I said about 10 seconds ago, I'm saying it again, you have videos of members of the IUIC maybe six months ago, four years ago, that teach that the lake of fire is a place that you, your soul burns in, in, in hell, a spiritual hell forever. So after he said what he said on that podcast, which was on YouTube, well, where is your brother? Look for it. Do the research. Search. Labor, labor to achieve. 
Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. So he still hasn't addressed the hell thing. So you got certain Israelites still teaching that that the lake of fire is an eternal hell. So now he goes into this. He's jumping from this scripture and that scripture real fast. Get this scripture and hold that and come back to this. Now come back to Isaiah 16. Now go back to Ezekiel 38. And then go to Ezekiel 39. That's all talking about in our lifetime, man. Do you do you realize that there's actually Israelites the, the, not just the Benny I mean, but there's other Israelites that's not associated with the Benny I mean Israelites that are back there in Israel and, and and surrounding countries, man. So you can take it that way. They ain't talking about in the kingdom a thousand years from now, man. Stop that nonsense. But before you go into that, address the situation about the lake of fire. Do a video on that. Tell them that you were wrong and that you, anybody that's teaching that in IUIC has to, has to correct themselves. And they got to take down them videos. So when they tell you that they're in order, they're not in order. They're not in order. They just look in order. They got a nice pretty package. So anyway, let's... Uh, like, you're, okay, the New Jerusalem coming down from heaven. What is the New Jerusalem? The Israelites coming down from heaven because they were, which is the elect, they were beamed up into the ship. It was one ship, which is Yahweh's ship. Yahweh's ship can hold millions of people if need be. Yahweh's ship can grow and shrink. There's a spiritual ship and a con and, um. It's an extraterrestrial slash spiritual angelic ship that can be seen by the naked eye and and not be seen by radar. That can make itself invisible. That can make itself appear. That can grow. You're dealing with the spiritual realm. The New Jerusalem come down from heaven is that ship coming back down to earth so the Israelites can fulfill Daniel 7. The saying to the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and forever. Isaiah speaks about world without end. So there's not going to be no pauses in um, our kingdom. Solomon's kingdom, David's kingdom is in pause, is in pause. Then it's going to re the, the most I going to hit the pause button and go back to play, and that kingdom, David, you know, the house of David, which is under Yahweh Shai, under Yahweh, is going to go on forever. The kingdom never went away because the Israelites are always here. If you if you can't do, do away with the Israelites, the kingdom is over here or already is here in the form of Israel, but uh, they're in exile. Ain't going to be no ain't going to be affliction shall not. I'm merely paraphrasing uh, um, Nahum 1 and 9. Affliction shall not rise up a second time. Once we get that kingdom, it's going to be an everlasting kingdom. Isaiah, world without end for Israel. So stop it. So anyway, let's go into let's this right here. Which, by the way, I I'm not planning on interviewing no Edomite. I'll, I just tell them, look, y'all, the Edomites, we're the Israelites. If they say what side you on, we don't take. We're, we're on the side of prophecy, and we're, we're on the side of the Most High. What do you mean the side of prophecy? Well, the scriptures say in Matthew 24, there are going to be wars and rumors of wars. So that's just Israel declared war on on uh, Hamas, but they're killing off Palestinian civilians, and that's a fact. Even CNN says that. Even Blinken, Blinken, Secretary of State, he said, you're killing too many, um, I think he said, which means civilians, too many Palestinians. Meaning pa you got your regular Palestinians, you got your Hamas, um, which, are, which is a, which they deem a terrorist organization. 
that happen to be Palestinian. Just like you got Italians. Not all Italians are mobsters. But Ma, Italian, the Lo, La Crosa Nostra are, are mafia, mafioso, uh, mafioso that happen to be Italian. Doesn't mean that if you see an Italian, you're, you're a mafioso. No. There's a regular Italians out there. That are not, so you can't say, okay, we're going to go after the, the mafia and you grab everybody, anybody that's Italian, you're going you're gonna to shoot them or you're going to lock them up. So you got Palestinian civilians and you got the Hamas organization, all right? So my thing would be, first of all, don't take pictures. We're not, we don't want to deal with you in the interview, but I'll tell you this real quick. I said, put your camera up. We don't take no side. We take the side of the most side. We take the side of prophecy. This is merely prophecy. But anyway, I want you to listen to them. And you're going to have this one. He, she's going to be the one that's going to first pop up. Because they kind of passed. So it was a set. They was definitely sent. And get it and get it uh, documented. Okay? When they're going back and forth about the, the so-called war over there. The, 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 the declaration of war. She's feeding this stuff that she got from the news. Well, it, it says this and it says that. But you look, are you looking at both sides of the news? Because Al Jazeera and Press TV and these other news companies are saying something different than what they're saying. So, you know, the news over here could be, can be biased. So it's a waste of time. What, what news people do is their job is to make you look bad. That's what their job is. So I would have said, look, we don't do uh, interviews. Oh, one question. What side do you take? I said, we take the side of most sides. I said that for a third time. So let's listen. Those that were casted out. He's going to send with the outcasts of Israel, right? Which are really, in the New Testament, they are called Gentiles. The Romans, the Philippians. Okay. These guys, this guy, are definitely with with them. This was this was a setup. Their thing was to act like they're just walking down the street. And these are all wearing black. They might be Popo, whatever, Masad, whatever. They're walking. And uh, these guys keep going. And they too, they walk past them and they come back. And it was just like uh, uh, Tucker Carlson. He walked past us. You know, he walked up to us. He's acting like he was leisurely walking down the street. He walked right up to us and kind of made, he made a, a right, like a military right. And he started asking us questions. And I said, are you a newscaster? He said, no. And he's looking at him, no, a newscaster. Because he figures, Jake, they don't watch the news. I watch the news, man. I remember Tucker Carson when he was with CNN. As we're going back years. I remember Tucker Carson, Carson when he was on CNN. Then he had a stint with um, CNBC. Then he disappeared. Then he wound up at Fox News. Now he had his own podcast or whatever. So that's what the news, the American news at least, they'll give you one side. And I guess that's all news pe people. Right? All those different, those different books that are written in the New Testament, they're written to Israelites among those nations. Hey, uh, see, he's he's with him. The other two, they keep walking, and she's hey, what about the protests? This is a, this was a setup, clearly a setup. She got the camera ready. What is it like? Yeah, way. All right. All right. And they're secular Israelites. They're not. I mean, Israelis or Jews, Jays. They're secular people. Matter of fact, let's bring it back. They're secular people. Oh, let me go over here. I'm sorry. Outcasts of Israel, right? Which are really, in the New Testament, they are called Gentiles. The Romans, the Philippians. Okay, if you notice, he's got like a gold tee. He has no beard on his face. He looks like he doesn't have a beard on his face. So they're secular people. Uh, people. That's why they're over there. That government in Israel is established by the secular world. Right? All those different, those different books that are written in the New Testament. They're both wearing pants. Tight pants too. 
So these these are secular Jays. The government leaders, the government of of the, of, of Israel, is a sec, it's a secular government. They are written to Israelites among the old nations. Hey, who's the Israelites? Yeah. Way. Right. Right. God bless. All right, that's you. Can I do an interview? Yeah, come on. See how she came back? She walked past, and all of a sudden, nah, you know what? I'll do an interview. What are you, a newscaster? Okay. What you want to know? Now we got. Uh, now we got. I just said, no, nah, we don't do interviews. But who are you? Who do you represent? You and uh, you were the news company. I said, because no regular tourist is going <clears> to <throat> say, <clears throat> can I do an interview? <clears throat> <clears throat> they might say, can I ask you a question? You may say, yeah, but you can't put it on camera. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> So it might be. Great. It, 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 okay, no, I just want to ask you. It might not be nice. Just tell me. Come on, camera. Okay, so. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. What you want to know? All right. Well, um, first of all, I would like to know what is your what is your opinion on the events that happened on October seventh? You mean with the uh the, 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 the twelve hundred? When they you know, invaded fourteen hundred. Yeah, 1400, okay. Go to Ezekiel 36 and 5. What are our, our opinion? Our opinion is a terrible thing, you know, but we know that the Lord, the Heavenly Father in the Bible, we read it to you. Let me read you this. No, I'm sorry, brother. Get Deuteronomy 32 and 30. Now, our opinion of it is, of course, we don't like to see you know, people get hurt, but we know this stuff happens. Because the Lord said in the New Testament that all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Read that. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Read it. So our opinion is why, why it was terrible what happened, you know, that the Lord had to have it for a reason. Okay. Do around 32. 39. 39. Yeah. See now that I am even, I am, he and there is no God with me. Right, go ahead. I kill and I make up a lie. I kill and I make a lie. The Heavenly Father said that. I kill and I make a lie. Okay? So even though there were men that did it, the Heavenly Father was the one that allowed it to happen. They are just standing around. They're information gatherers. They're they're media. Go ahead. I wound and I heal. Uh huh. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. What else? For I lift up my hand to heaven mm -hmm. and say, I live forever. So the heavenly Father is the one that lives forever, eternity, right? So that was his. That was his thing that had that happened. Right. Now, go ahead. Okay, and then, um, what do you think, so people out here are asking for a ceasefire. Right. And I said, I don't believe there should be a ceasefire until we bring the hostages home. We don't get to... Now, we don't know if there's any hostages. We don't know. You know, that's one side of the news. Could be, couldn't, we don't know. You know, and it's the Palestinians that ask them for ceasefire, not Hamas, not so much Hamas. The mass people that have been killed are Palestinians for the most part, citizens, as as far as we know. Doctors kill, rape women, and then ask for a ceasefire. What do you think an appropriate response would be? Appropriate response? Well, we don't really have an opinion about what's going on. Um, I can see... He's most likely down with him. The point from both sides. You know what I mean? I can see the point from both sides. But you can see the reason why uh, for us there is no, I don't mean that. I'm saying I don't see the reason why they're asking for a ceasefire because women and children are getting killed. Where? You know, hospitals. You didn't hear about that? I do know about it. I know. I saw the news the other night when they found AK-47s and stuff in the hospital. Did you hear that? What actually happened in the hospital was a Hamas misfire. Okay. And it hit the hospital. But they're the ones who are going to kill the terrorists. I don't She's giving you what she saw on on a biased news, news station. All right? Now, we don't know if the... News on the other side is biased to a certain degree, but th but there's bias in news, you know. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. So you're saying you see both sides? No, I'm I'm talking about from their point of view asking for a ceasefire because a lot do you agree that a lot of people are getting killed that are not even enemy combatants? Women and children are not getting killed. What is an appropriate response? I'm just asking you, are women and children getting killed? Yes, no. Yes. As a result of Hamas. Wait a minute. Regardless of who As a oh so real oh so if uh let me see. Let's say uh a J rapes a little black boy and bl so-called black people any J that they see they beat him up and ki or kill him it's not justifiable the target is Hamas which is a terrorist organization which are hiding and they're saying well they use these people as shills okay let's say a bank somebody robs a bank the police come they grab some old lady and use her as a shill so are you justified in shooting it through the chest to get him? Well, I had to get the bad guy. Who's part of this? Are women and children getting killed? Yeah. I'm asking her. Let her in. Are women and children getting killed? Or that's just lies? You're saying they are getting killed as a result of Hamas. Why do you keep saying that? Though? I'm asking one thing. I'm asking one thing. Very simple. So you, so you don't think there should be a ceasefire? Absolutely not. It's uh, against, all against, all wait a minute, against non-enemy combatants. I'm talking about for both sides. I have a friend who's in Gaza. I do not believe. I am sure. I do believe. I do believe. I do believe. I do And 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 he's down with her. This is this is a this is a whole setup, man. This is a whole setup. I wouldn't. I, first of all, I wouldn't agree. Not getting on him. I wouldn't agree to no interview. Cause I would, and and if I did, before I did, I would have said, "Do you represent a news company? Do you do this?" Do you? And I would ask her some questions. I would, you know, close her in to see. But she's, you, you, she's asking the right questions to get the right responses. But he's answering them correctly. I would have cut it short and said, "Look, the scriptures speak about wars and rumors of war. This is, this is. Do you believe in God? Yes, I believe in God." Uh, uh, um, I might ask if you could keep the laws. Are you Israeli? I would establish, obviously, they're, they're is Israelis, but they don't say they are. But I would have went into Matthew 24. That's a, they said, this is, this, is, this is nothing but prophecy. What do you mean prophecy? The scriptures speak about it at the end. This is, this is how we know that we're at the end of this world system, this world ruling system. Um, it says uh, there will be wars and rumors of wars. Is there not a war going on with, with the Israeli government or the military or IDF and Hamas? I said, that's just a war. Is there not a war going on with the Russian and Ukraine? Uh, where, where is that? In Iceland, there's over 2,000 earthquakes that hit um, inside of 24 hours. Uh, and they're not, they're not even pl playing that in the news. It says there should be earthquakes in diverse places. So this is just prophecy being fulfilled. And I can't take take a side what side? I'm not first of all I'm not Palestinian. I'm not a J. You know? If I'm watching a golfing match on TV, I'm not going to take nobody's side. I'm just watching a match. Last year, the Super Bowl, a uh, Philly the Eagles versus uh the Chiefs. I didn't take no side. I knew that the Chiefs was going to win. Everybody's talking, oh, Philly. I said, the Chiefs are going to win. Well, my man, um, oh, damn, I can't even think of his name. Can't even think of his name. Somebody help me out. Help me out. Help me out. It'll come back to me. Patrick Mahone. I said, no, nah, my man Patrick Mahone, he's going to show his stuff. But I didn't take no side. I didn't say, who you going for? I'm, I'm just watching the game. Certain boxing matches, I don't take nobody's side. I say, may the best man win. So I don't have to take the side on everything. And that's what I would say. I said, look, it's just prophecy. If, any, if you want me to take a side, I take the side of prophecy. I take the side of the most side. And I believe, I believe she was talking... Um, therefore, I'm a Hebrew, not Yiddish. A lot of you brothers in Israel say they're speaking Yiddish. No, they're not speaking Yiddish. They're speaking their dialect of Hebrew. 
you be around them, and I used to pick them up and work with them, and I would I can pick up words that they would say. Like for example, Hashem. Uh, Hash, we say Hashem. Hashem. It means the name. Oh, you answer. Let me just tell you this. Yeah. Go to Ezekiel 36. Wait, hold up. You asking for my opinion? Right. I just wait a minute. Say I'm, wait a minute. I'm, 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 I want you to I'm understand. Just in the of but I want you to okay, understand I'm this. Glad to hear it once We're again. not with either side. I get it. I I got it. Say Everybody got that. No We're not with either side. I want to decide. Because they want us to take a side. So he said the right thing. He said, we're not with either side. That's what I would have said in the beginning. I said, we're not with either side. What do you like? Hot dogs or hamburgers? Well, it depends how I feel. I got a taste for hot dogs. Sometimes I got a taste for pizza or hamburgers. I got to take a side on everything. Good. This is the side we on right here. Beautiful. I'm not looking to fight at all. Right, okay, well, we but I just want to answer your question before you say this. I just want to answer the question you asked. You asked question? me if I believe there should be a ceasefire. Right. And the answer is absolutely not. If okay. you return all hostages, my friend Noah Algamani is sitting as a captive in Gaza. Okay. So if there. Our hostages. Let's say the and the Hamas is is she's right. That she's blaming on the Hamas, which is true, because they're saying you got to return. We won't stop until you return the hostages. So it's Hamas. If they're on the side of the Palestinian people, which you got twenty right now, you got probably twenty thousand people plus dead. They stopped at ten. They said ten, then they want ten plus. So ten plus what? Ten plus five thousand. Ten ten plus ten thousand. If 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 the if if that group, the Hamas, so called Hamas, give up the things, are they gonna actually stop? I don't know. I don't know. So whose side is Hamas is really on? Okay. She's a beautiful young woman who should not be there. Absolutely. All the hostages, you came in, you took our hostages. We're not going to surrender. They are surrendering. Hey, I didn't say this should cease fire. I never said this. I never said that. I said hostages. that all. So that means she doesn't care that baby Palestinian infants uh, die. Uh, she don't care that pregnant women die, old people die because they because they happen to be Palestinian. That's truly hate. I can understand you want the hostages back, and it makes sense. And Hamas should, because Hamas, if anything, and the Palestinian people are getting their asses handed to them. They don't have, Palestinians don't have a standing army. So you see the sentiment, you see the, the reaction from the woman. So now when it, when it, when it's flipped over and um, missiles are hit on the U.S., in the Middle East, you're going to have people smiling and happy about it. That's in uh, Jeremiah, either Jeremiah 50 or Jeremiah 51. They said they're going to sing when, when Babylon goes down. Let me see if I can find it. Jeremiah. Let's try 50. Okay, so it's so got to be 51. And Jeremiah 50 and Jeremiah 51 are two of my, among others, my favorite uh, prophecies. Okay, it's two times, right? Jeremiah 51 verse 37, And Babylon shall become heaps, that's the U.S., a dwelling place for dragons, and a, an astonishment, and a hissing, that's hissing. 47 verse, it's in the 
It's in 48, but let me start from 47. Uh, I'm, actually, I should read this. You got to read the whole chapter. Anyway, 47. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon. We know that this is talking about the U.S. And her whole land, that's in Isaiah 13, a whole, to destroy the whole land, shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon for the spoilers shall come unto her the spoilers are the missiles the, the Lord the angels and the missiles and I'm going to pick out some words so ultimately what's going to happen to that land in the Middle East the land of the Jays is going to be destroyed but it's going to be built back up that's where the strangers come in Bishop Nathaniel they shall build up thy walls for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, Russia, saith the Lord, as Babylon has caused the slain of uh, Yasha Allah, to, which are the Israelites, to fall, so at, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. That doesn't mean everybody on the earth is going to be slain. Ye that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still, remember Yahweh afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. That's talking to the Israelites. We are confounded because we have heard reproach or disrespect, shame, have covered our faces, that's us, for strangers, other nations, are come into the sanctuary of Yahweh's house. That's, that's right now, the, the 19, the 1948s, I call them. It says, Wherefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will do judgment upon her graven images, Babylon's graven images, and through all her land the wounded shall groan. Well, they're going to be destroyed. They're going to all die. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, their planes, the satellites, their their uh, shuttle ships, their rockets, their fighter jets, and though she be, for she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, saith Yahweh. So the missiles are going to spoil this place. Don't drink the milk. Why is spoil? Inside joke. <laughs> I had to say it. A sound of, cry, of, a sound of a cry cometh from Babylon. And great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. Because Yahweh has spoiled Babylon. And destroyed out of her the great voice. Wait a minute. What does Daniel chapter 7 say? Spoke great words. Right? Spoke great words. Spoke great words. Matter of fact, let's go to that. Daniel 7. I beheld then because of the voice of the of the great words 
which the horn, it started as a little horn, 13 colonies, spake, I beheld even till the beast was slain, and his body, that's um, the U.S. destroyed, and give it to the burning flame. The burning flame, that's why it's going to look like a uh, lake of fire. As concerned the rest of the beasts, the other nations, they had their dominion taken away, uh, yet their lives were prolonged for a season of time, meaning they're going to go into captivity. So let's come back over here. Because these Jays, they don't know what's going on. They don't know, they don't understand, they don't understand these prophecies. Matter of fact, nobody understands these prophecies except a one, the Israelites of one West. I'll say all of them. I'll say, I'll put Bishop Nate in there. He understands the prophecies. General Yohanna, he understands the prophecies. Um, Sakari, they damn sure understand the prophecies. That's why the head of Sakari started with GMS because of the prophecies. That's the thing that that was the magnet that brought him in them prophecies so all these former one westers that are still out there teaching Elder Kazak or High Priest Kazak he knows about the prophecies so we've been saying this more than 20 years ago and now it's coming to pass I'm sorry I've been in this thing more than going on 40 years so we've been speaking about Babylon being America and Middle East and what keep your eyes on the Middle East. And now it's here. Habakkuk 2. So let's come on back. People that are not, so, you know, women and children should not be getting harmed. Sure, they don't have point. anything on either side of the talking about. Okay. Well, and say and see, she's not, she's not concerned about the Palestinian babies, the old woman. She doesn't care. She's like kill them all. And her and her excuse is Hamas. That's that boogie that 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 um that boogeyman word, like communism back in the day. The communists are gonna come. If we don't stop these communists, they're going to come, and America's going to be a communist country. They use these, boog these boogeyman words. That's a buzzword. Well, Hamas, you can blame it on Hamas. If Hamas did this. This is, this is who so part of like, Listen to this. this. Listen to this. I didn't say that. Okay. Go ahead. Listen to this. Well, she obviously doesn't believe in all life matter. She she believes all Jay's lives matter. So she's biased. She doesn't give a damn about the Palestinians or anybody else. She don't give give, give a damn about, about about these two gentlemen right here. This is this is really what's going on right here. Read it, brother. Ezekiel 36 and 5. Right. Therefore, thus said the Lord God. Right. Thus really, said the Lord God, right, from the Bible. Go ahead. Truly, in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. Heathen nations that are not Israelites. Go ahead. And, and, again. and she's one of the heathen nations. Unless she's a Israel, unless she's an actual Israelite, you got to tell her that too. You said some of the, some of you people are actually actual Israelites. Some of the Palestinians are actually Israelites because we were scattered throughout the world. That's another thing they don't understand. These people don't acknowledge that the Sephardic Jews are really the Israelites. They do, but they don't. This is what you call. Most likely Ashkenazi, meaning Ash Ashkenaz is one of the sons that came out of Japheth, which occupied the land Ashkenaz, which is Germany today. That's what so German Europeans that confess that, that say that they're Jays, they call them Ashkenazi Jews, which look like Europeans. It's all Adumians. Because the people that live there now who are Edomites, according to this, Adumians. 
which they call themselves, what do they call themselves? Jewish or Israeli, they're Edomites according to the scripture. Now look at her. She's red. Now she could be an Israelite. She she a dime she a dime piece. You know, she be she make a good one of them in the kingdom. But she may be an Edomite. She looks like an Edomite. He looks like an Edomite. He could be a Jake. Could be an Irishman. Scott Scott. Sicilian or, or whatever. Polish or whatever. Would you have Jakes throughout all of Europe? How many, how many, how much seed did Jake, Judah, Gad, uh the, uh, any of the tribes that went over there and fought that war. When you go back to Spain, a, a lot of sp people of Spain are Israelites, man. The Moors mixed their seed all up in there, man. So when he said Edomites, they they learn about Edom. And by the way, Net uh, Netanyahu is saying we got to destroy them pursuant to um, the Amalekites, which are Edomites. He's saying that they're the Edomites and, and they're saying that they're the Israelites. So these people that we're fighting, they're Edomites. We got to destroy them. And it says in first, and I've gone through this, it says in first, the, book, the first book of Samuel, chapter 15, the first three, four verses, it says to kill their infants, kill their toddlers, kill their men, kill their women, kill their cattle, kill their asses, kill, uh, do away with them. So he actually said that there's speeches that he made, and also he quoted um, Isaiah 60, verse 18. But if he's going to quote Isaiah 60 and 18, he's got he's to go into the whole chapter. Because the, Isaiah chapter 60 goes into how the Israelites are going to slay and slave the whole world. So that's what he's calling for. Okay, so you got heathens, Palestinians, and other nations, and you have Edomites in the Holy Land. Really? So right in now. the Bible it says Palestinians? Read it. Did you hear it? Start from the no, top. I, you read it. Palestinians are... Probably read it. Ezekiel okay. 36 and 5. Therefore thus says the Lord... She says that she don't know the scriptures. And she don't even know who the, a real Palestinian is, a, is an, an Egyptian, a Cushite, which are the Philistines. The, Philist, the Philistines came from the, they, they're from the line of uh, Mizraim. These people don't know what's going on, man. And let me just say this. Deuteronomy uh, 20, 21 verse 18. When we go to war, what do you think going to happen to somebody look like this? That prophecy is going to be fulfilled. We are going to have concubines in the kingdom. Right. Surely in the, in the fire of my jealousy uh -huh. have I spoken against the residue of heathen. So the heaven father is speaking against heathen. Got it, got it. Now, one now he's going to find. Yeah, no, and let it finish. Let it finish. Uh, he's uh, going to tell you. Hold okay. on. Listen. Go ahead. And against all. And she put the hair back. She said, I'm li I'm liking. I'm kind of liking this brother. Anytime a woman put their hair back, hey, I'm kind of liking this brother. Or these brothers. You, hey, for you young men out there, you got to learn body language, bro. You know if a woman like you or not based upon their body languages. The pantomimes. I, I do me. I do me. Esau evil. Go ahead. Which I appointed my land unto their possession. Which appointed my land into their possession. Okay, so hold on. Take the last question. Go ahead. Finish it up. So before you do it, I just finish want to up. finish my question. Finish it up. Okay, the joy of their heart <laughs> right. was... The spiteful minds to pass out for break. Now this is what I want you to understand. Okay. The real Israelites, the twelve tribes, are not supposed to go back to that land until the Lord, the Savior, who died on the cross, comes back and takes his people back from exile. So the people that are fighting over it and doing all that. Is people meaning Christians or Jews? I think it's the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. No, it's uh, Israel. The Israelites. Got it. Okay, Israelites. so off topic for a second. Now we gotta go on topic. No, 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 it's the same go ahead, topic. Go ahead. You so that's you, why I told you in the beginning, we don't have no a winner down on either I side. I get it completely. Okay. I just okay. want to find out because we, I just want to expand on the question. Mm -hmm. So you were mentioning that, you know, there's a lot of all lives on both sides are right. dying. Mm -hmm. um, and you think that it feels for the Palestinians to be because of what's happening to the Palestinians. I feel for them. all of them. Hold on, absolutely. All of them. She put words in, in, um, in their mouths. You feel for the Palestinians. 
Well, he should have said, well, don't all lives matter? You feel for the Palestinians. No, we feel for the Most High. We, we take the side of the Most High. That's your war. But my question is, what do you think an appropriate response to this terrorist is? If you think Israel, if you think Israel is behaving... Uh, my response would be prophecies. The scriptures say man's goings of the Lord, so how can a man then understand his own way? The Most High put the Spirit on other people to come against other people. I'm going to tell you like this. I don't believe the American media because it's ran by who? Who runs American media? Who runs it? What? Muslims? You said Muslims runs American yes. media. No, they CNN, don't. You look no, they don't. America, Muslims, Muslims, Muslims do not run American media. You know who Rupert Murdoch is? You know who that is? He's not a Muslim. I, I don't care about this stuff. Well, yeah, but I'm sorry. But, yeah, but who runs American media? You know who runs American media? Not American. You know what? Jewish American. I wouldn't say that because they can bring up some American American and say, well, he's the head of this and he's the president of that. But they run a lot of it. So you got to be careful. We got to be careful. You know, you got you got to, you, you know, you, you got to ride the wave, so to speak. See, they want you to say them buzzwords. That's why she put the words in, the, in their mouths. So you agree with the pat? You take the side. The pat. When you go back to the beginning, he said, "I don't take no side. I take the most." He pulled the scriptures up and said, "I take this side." There's nothing but prophecy being fulfilled. That that's going to escalate. That's going to escalate. Ultimately, even even if it dies down, it's going to escalate ultimately to what? The war of Armageddon. Armageddon. It's going to escalate to what? Revelation 20 verse 8 and that's not going to happen a thousand years from now like your bishop said and he knows he went off man Uh, look at that. They're running around. They're showing. They got the American flag. It's really clear. They're all together. He's part of. He's part of. He's down with her. You got the mother people standing off to the side, man. They're information gatherers, man. My answer is. My answer to that is. What's an appropriate response to the challenge? I don't know for sure what's really going on. Who's, who's telling the truth? Whether the Muslim media is telling the truth about what's going on over there, or whether the American Israeli media, yeah, because because media has one side of the story. They'll get the information, they'll gather the information, then they'll put their spin on it. You know, some news comes out, CNN gets it. If they get it, they get it from. Uh, they'll have uh, agents, you know, news people go to the actual spot, but they get, but they get their the general news from uh, the AP and uh, United Press International. AP meaning Associated Press. Now we did an interview years ago on the Bob Law show, show and in his studio he had a I believe it was an AP machine and it would have a ticker a ticker tape and if there was an earthquake it would come up so right away you hear all these news stations that there was an earthquake because they all they all get information from the AP Associated Press and United Press International. I don't know. But I know what the Bible says. And what we're waiting for is for our Lord to come back and deliver us. No, what's the difference between Israel and them? They came and attacked us. When we went to Gaza inside, we, we announced a few times uh -huh. all the people So it's the so-called Hamas, as they call it, 
he they're the one that's causing this what what why would you as a as a man you live in a house with a family you let's say you got a uh, 50 people in your family your grandmother your mother and you doing all kind of madness out there in the street and you, you better know my name my name is this you shoot somebody you do whatever and they go to get you they can't find you guess what they know where you live. They know where you. Let's get his family. Let's get his mama. So what? What Hamas? Ham, what? Which they're right. If Hamas did what they did, and you got to, you got to remember. Please do me a favor and go to uh, YouTube and put in the rough guy to hell. And and go from there. I'm not gonna say anything else. Uh, FDR made a statement. Nothing happens by accident. In politics, but if it happens, you can bet that it was planned that way. It's called an agenda. It's called an agenda. Well, we have we have they killing their own people. I just want to tell you that they killing their own people. We came and we gave them food and things, uh -huh. and the Hamas didn't want them to take, and they were beating them. Okay. Now, and you notice she said Hamas. She said it the right way. It's not Hamas. It's Hamas. It's a it's, it's a Hebrew word meaning violence. I don't know if there's an Arabic word. We looked up the word Hamas in Google, and it says it's an acronym for. Uh, matter of fact, you know what? Let me go to this. See, we check things out. We're not like the average person. They'll look at the news. Oh, it happened because the news said it happened. Let me go to Hamas. 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 Meaning. Let me see. Meaning. Meaning. Hamas. The acronym for Harakat Al Makwa Ma Al Islamia Islamic Resistance Movement is the largest and most capable mili militant group in the Palestinian uh, ter territories and one of the territories two major political parties. So it's actually a political party. I'm not going to do all this reading, but like I said, when you watch the news, you're going to get you're not a journalist, a journalist. None of these news people are they, they're they're uh, failed actors. They fail. They're failed actors. The majority of them want to be a great actor, and they wind up in the news. That's why they got the the look. You know, Ro Roger asshole, bringing the news. So let me see. So that's what they say it means. But you notice she said Hamas. Which is Hebrew for, and she said it. She said it the right way. Perfect Hebrew. She said Hamas. Hebrew word for violence. And come back. Well, let me ask y'all two questions. I, I, I just want to say one thing. I, so I came from Israel. The reason I'm okay. here is because I was in the war. I experienced it. You was in the war? I have okay. friends who were murdered. I have friends whose parents were murdered. So you've seen it firsthand. I've you know seen it firsthand. I know right. what it's like. Right. We have it. We don't know. I know what it's like to have missiles every five minutes over my head. Okay. To have my neighboring building blown up. I know what that's like. Okay. And now, I'll tell that, you this Let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. Do you know who created Hamas? It's out there in the world. True. you know what they're saying? Who created Hamas? No. Like I said, we don't know. We don't know. We we don't we really don't know. So I wouldn't have said that. And she said that's a conspiracy theory. Is it possible? Yes. So we don't know. 
you know. Show me your data. I can show you. Uh, it's out there. It's out there. Out there where? In uh, Al Jazeera? It's all over the booth. Ah, she mentioned Al Jazeera. That's what I've been watching, Al Jazeera. So she, when she mentions Al Jazeera, she's saying, well, that's all biased news. Y'all should watch Al, Al Jazeera. Watch CNN, watch Fox, watch the other American news companies, and also watch the press TVs, the Al Jazeera's on YouTube, Al Jazeera English Live. So I'm a little long-winded here, but bear with me. So hold on. Okay. Now I'm not it's saying. Not hey. it's not true. It's not true. Okay. She says it's not true. It's Okay, cool. Absolutely not true. I'm just asking you. And then... Now, what? what wait, and wait, and last thing? Last you asked me, you asked me what was, wait, what was the end of So, okay, I know you don't really want to give a response. I'll give a response. But, it's going to be according to the script. Fair enough. Um, I believe that... And let me just say this right here. You see, she's, she's feminine. She's very feminine. I was just watching a video of two wrestlers, and I click on it, and it's a black woman wrestling a Japanese woman in some wrestling tournament. And the black woman is moving just like a dude. Ain't nobody want to be a black ass woman. You lack femininity. She's feminine. She's feminine, man. If, if, if me and her were walking down the street. And I took a picture. This is my new girl. I don't tell. Guy, Jake, you know, brothers would say. You, you hitting that ock? <laughs> you hitting that ock? Because she's very feminine. Ain't nothing wrong with having a concubine. Don't listen to Pastor, um, Bishop Nathaniel. You can only have one wife. You can have wives and you can have concubines. He's come to education. Right. And so in our schools, we're not taught hate at all. Children don't even know what Palestine is. She said, in our schools, we're not for hate at all. But when when um the elder said... uh. Spoke, brought up uh, the ceasefire thing. She said, no, we ain't going to stop that ceasefire. Meaning, I'm with babies getting killed. I'm with old women, grandma, grandpa getting killed. I'm with young women, pregnant women getting killed. I'm with teenagers getting killed. I'm with toddlers getting killed. But she said, we don't learn, we don't, we don't teach hate. Or we're not about hate. The statements that you made, keep bombing them. And the people that are getting bombed out and killed are not uh, Hamas is Palestinian citizens even Blinken said that Lord Blinken Secretary of State he said there's too many Palestinians getting killed and that's on the on the this side and he's a small hat he's a J these are true in Israel whereas okay. Palestinian territories are five years old they're taught to go to graduate from kindergarten they're taught how to kill I believe that. And so but you don't hate. You you showed your hate by by if you go back. I don't know half an hour, hour. If you go back, you said don't stop it. In other words, commence the killing uh, um, Palestinian civilians because that's who's getting killed. I think after the ten the ten thousand ten thousand plus people, they got one, they got one Hamas member. Check out the news. I'm just checking the notifications here. Bear me for a minute. Okay, let's go back. Let's listen to a little bit more, and then I'll close. I believe peace comes through education. We want okay, peace. Now, every single Arab neighbor that wanted peace, we did everything to have peace with them. Their charter says you will never have peace. Hear, the Hamas charter says you will never have peace with Israel. We will obliterate Israel. Israel is okay. anyway, peace. Peace comes through education. Okay. So what's the problem? But you're breaking the bell for, uh, what is it, uh, 
the Belfort Agreement, the Belfort uh, Treaty. Let me let me let me see. Let me put a bell for. Belfort Treaty. According to the Canadian Encyclopedia, belts made of wampum were used to mark agreements between peoples. Wampum was used by indigenous peoples and to record treaties and settle disputes. The hell did they give me here? Give me restaurants in Jersey. Anyway, I'll look at it some other some other time. Belfort Belfort Deck Belfort Declaration. Try that. Belfort Declaration. There we go. According to Wikipedia, the Balfour Declaration was a public statement issued by the British government in 1917 during the First World War announcing its support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine, then an Ottoman region with a small minority Jewish population. Okay, it doesn't go fully. Let me see what this says. What did the Belfort Declar Declaration? What is the Belfort? Belfort Declaration, Belfort Promise. Belfort Promise in Arabic was a public pledge by the British. and Because uh, the British had this first through the Rothschilds. Rothschilds are even mentioned in the Belfort Declaration. 1917, 1917 declaring, this was in the middle of World War II, it's aimed to establish a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Palestine, hence the Palestinians. Before they got there, it was number Arab people. Let me see some. Let me try this. It was Palestine a country before Israel? While the State of Israel was established on uh, 15 May 1948 um, and admitted to the United Nations, because they were behind it, the League of Nations, the United Nations, uh, a, a Palestinian state was not established. The remaining territories of pre-1948 Palestine the West Bank, which is the Gaza, including East Jerusalem and, Ga and Gaza Strip, were uh, administered uh, from 1948 till 1967 by the Jordan and Egypt, respective, respectively. When they got there, it was none but... Let me see something. Let me do this. Palestine... Palestine before 1948. Let's go to images. Palestine before 1948. And the only reason why the Jays are over there because they're saying we are the people of Israel. That's our land. Which if they are, they're justified in that. But they're not the people. They're Edomites. Let me see here. Prior to 1948. 
actually 1917 let's look let's look at this okay 1946 Palestine right this was Palestine in 1946 Israel land Palestinian land also known as a Gaza Strip because it's a strip looks like a strip 1946 UN plan the UN was behind it 1947 a year later this is Palestine this is Israel this is all Palestine this is all Israel 19, 1949 uh, 1967 the green represents Palestine this has to be recent look at this look at this they got all this all this was all this here was was known as Palestine hundred percent Palestinian about half about 25 percent a quarter down to 15 percent is Palestinian as of 2020 so they want to sweep them out um, Netanyahu uh, called uh, recited uh, Isaiah 60 verse 18 he recited uh, First, the first book of Samuel, chapter fifteen, the first five verses: kill, a, kill the babies, kill the women, kill everything. So I'm giving you fa the facts, the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Let's listen to a little bit more. I was long-winded, but wait, wait. the peace is gonna come through the same. So you want, you, what you really want is just, you want justice, right? I don't want to. Peace will come. Peace will come when um, this place is destroyed. This wicked kingdom is destroyed. Then peace will come to the kingdom. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to close on this. It's very interesting to me. I don't know if I put you to sleep. But I got, hey, 12 minutes in. You got another 12 minutes. If the spirit jump on me, I may do another part two. May not. Somebody else could do the rest of this. But anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.